I'm N2RJ here with another Q and A video. And we're going to answer one question today. Um, I gave you a video yesterday about the five things in amateur radio that have changed in the past 40 years, basically responding to a blog post by Sean Kutzko, KX9X. So if you want to take a look at that one, I'll put a link on the video and you can go take a look at it. So let's talk about AM. Everybody's least known mode for some reason. AM was actually the first voice mode used in any sort of radio broadcasting, radio transmission, amateur radio. And believe it or not, it still exists today, as you know, for the AM broadcast band, primarily long wave, medium wave, which is the AM broadcast band where you hear sports talk radio and political talk radio and local traffic and other stuff. Maybe country music and stuff like that and ethnic radio stations. But um, it's there. Then you have shortwave broadcasting. Shortwave broadcasting is also on AM. And um, aircraft is still on AM. There's still uh, AM being used for aircraft. So AM is still widely in use, although it's very inefficient. The main appeal of AM is that the receivers can be dirt cheap and the receivers don't have any problem when the frequency shifts too much so it um, due to Doppler effect and such. So it will be um, pretty good. We're not going to get into a comprehensive discussion about AM. I'm just going to address one or two things. We are going to do a separate video about AM. So the first one it is asked is, I want to get on AM. What do I need? Oh, by the way, AM is also used on CB radio. Um, which you may have known that uh, channels 1 through 40 is, is AM. So the question's asked, I want to get on AM. What do I need? Well, first of all, you need a microphone or you need some sort of audio input source. And um, this could be, you know, a microphone is the, the usual one. Some people have voice synthesizers and such that they use to provide audio if they're speech challenged, if they have problems with speech. Then you need a transceiver. Most modern HF transceivers will do AM without a problem and they will actually sound pretty good. Then of course you need an antenna, which you need anyway. And you need a good watt meter and you might want to get a um, service monitor, but we'll talk about that in the AM episode. Um, the service monitor allows you to see the AM signal. So AM, and we're talking double sideband, AM. What about the power levels? Well, most radios now will specify a power level of 25 watts for a 100 watt radio. And this is for good reason. There is such a thing as the percentage of modulation, which is where if you go above this point, long story short, if you go above this point, you introduce distortion because the modulation is, is much higher than the carrier wave. So AM, you have the carrier wave, which is basically a sinusoidal sine wave on the frequency that you want to transmit on. And then you have the sidebands generated by the modulation. You can modulate that um, ideally you want to modulate that up to 100%. So you have up to 100% modulation and in 100% modulation, you have where the power at 100% modulation will be four times the carrier power. Now, this means obviously that the carrier will only be one quarter and in a typical 100 watt radio, you have 100 watts peak envelope power. So this means that your AM signal can also have 100 watts peak envelope power. But it also means the carrier wave is going to be one quarter of that. So it means that you're going to have 25 watts carrier. There are some radios which kind of cheat a little bit and you get a little more like the ICOM, the older ICOM radios, they use the ALC automatic level control to kind of squeeze back the 
trans the the um the modulation so that it would you know kind of like under modulate a little bit so you'd get more carrier power up to 40 watts on a 100 watt radio but most modern radios including the icom 7300 will only give you 25 watts out of the rig if you're going for legal limit 1500 watts peak envelope power you can do a maximum of 375 watts of carrier and now you know Thanks for watching this short video and be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and check out our other videos on this channel. Leave us some comments below with some other topics you want to um, talk about. And also I'd like to give a special shout out to Dave Kassler who is one of the OG and he is the OG Q&A people on YouTube. Um, Dave has not been feeling well so Dave get well soon. 73 from N2RJ. Bye.